Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IQA tech tip on antimicrobial use. The average person thinks mold remediation is all about killing the mold. In reality, mold remediation is all about removing the mold and fixing the underlying conditions that caused its growth. Nevertheless, antimicrobial chemicals may be used during mold remediation. If they are to be used, my most important piece of advice is read and follow the product's label. The label on any antimicrobial product will tell you quite a bit. First, look for EPA registration. The Environmental Protection Agency registers antimicrobial products that claim to kill microorganisms. If it doesn't have an EPA registration number on the label, most likely it's serving some other purpose than killing microorganisms. For example, it may just be a cleaner. While reading the label, also pay attention to the registered sites and surfaces. The use of some products is limited to a few specific sites, for example, hospitals. Products can also be limited to the specific types of surfaces, such as those that are hard and non-porous. For some products, the allowed uses can be quite narrow. If you use a product on a surface not listed, say drywall for example, it may be a violation of federal law. So now you know. Don't trust what the product salespeople tell you. Don't trust what the product's website tells you. Only trust what's on that label. To learn more about using antimicrobial products for mold remediation projects, consider taking the one-hour IAQA University class titled Antimicrobial Use. Visit the IAQA website for more information.